What's up, you movie maniacs, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and it is time for another quickie movie haul. Let's get into it. Let's see what else we have on the table. Uh, the, the pile's getting lesser, but uh, more are coming in, so it's a never-ending cycle. A never-ending cycle. But let's jump right in to this movie haul video. First up is a classic sci-fi sequel uh, based off of a, uh, well, it's the follow-up to a very, very famous one, Westworld. But this one is Future World. And um, I remember seeing this a long, 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 long time ago. But I just remember bits and pieces of it, so I not really have a crystal clear kind of memory of this film. But I do remember it being good and enjoyable, and I do not own this one in the collection. So first time in the collection, and just really looking forward to it. I know the uh, only returning star from the first movie is Yul Brynner. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see him there, right there, with a little cowboy hat on. But um, I guess the premise of the first movie of Westworld is um, there's kind of this um, special resort where robots and i mean if you've seen the westworld hbo uh new series or not newish the newish series um it's pretty much artificial intelligence and stuff like that and um robots coming to life and having a mind of their own and it's pretty much a fancy swanky resort where people can live out their fantasies and the particular one in westworld is the uh like western village and that's where yul brenner comes in and uh he's a uh, a robot and he come pretty much just does goes off protocol and just starts killing people and um yeah it's pretty much just like a amusement park disaster film pretty much what jurassic park was based off of but um future world i believe it's the same kind of concept but in the future area of the park um i don't know if anything carries over other than yul brenner's character or if it's a whole new story i really can't remember uh it's been so so long I mean, I really, really did watch this a long time ago. But um, I just wanted to get it in the collection because I have Westworld. I remember enjoying this one and never had it before. So always nice to add a movie that has never been in the mix before in the collection. But that is Future World. And I'm going to watch it and refresh my memory. But let's move on to number two on the lineup for tonight. Uh... It is a very brand spanking new uh, sci-fi movie. I think it did a tremendous job in adapting a very tricky novel or just series of novels, but I, it only tackles the first kind of story. Um, it is, well, let's just say what it is. It is Dune. And um, I'm gonna screw up this guy's name, Dennis. Oh my God, what, how do you, Dennis Venevenu or something like that. Fantastic job, fantastic director. Um, I love his Blade Runner 2049, and he came with the good stuff with Dune. Really was able to capture the story and kind of streamline it for people that have no idea what the hell's going on. A lot of characters in this one, a lot of warring houses, and just really out there concepts that he pretty much put down into a very succinct film and just the special effects are amazing. Pretty much, I believe it's just pretty much on par as 2049 where it really was able to build a world and make it believable, uh, functioning and just really breathtaking and beautiful to look at. And this one is right up the alley of 2049. Really cool film. Um, I'm a fan of the eighties version, David Lynch's film. Um, even if it's a little strange, but this one, like I said, streamlined it for a modern audience um, and just really, really cool, badass film, which is thankfully going to be getting a sequel because it does kind of end on a just kind of, okay, what next? But um, really cool, really cool scenes, characters, performances, effects, everything. Really cool film. So if you like sci-fi movies, uh, definitely check this one out, and I mean, if you love sci-fi, you probably heard of Dune, so I don't know why I'm even recommending it. It's not an obscure film. Well, I guess it kind of is, but people have heard of it, and that's Dune. In the collection, because I did enjoy it, loved it. I'm going to have to watch it again, 
just to see if it's got that classic status. But um, amazing work, amazing work. Well, let's move it on to a double feature that was put out by Shout Factory. Uh, two films I've never seen before in my life, but it's got a lot of actors in it that I love. So looking forward to checking at least one of these ones out. Uh, the movies on this double feature are uh, I Escaped from Devil Island, uh, Devil's Island, excuse me, and The Final Option. Um, I don't know much about The Final Option, but I don't know much about any of them. Um, but I do know that Christopher George right is in this one uh, alongside, what's his face? This is right on the front, right? Oh, what is that guy's name? Jim Brown, maybe? I don't know. But it looks like I'm interesting. Anything with Christopher George, I am all over. The guy is... It's an acquired, he's an acquired taste, but if you do like his style um, of acting and just his cheesy nature, you'll get a kick of all the movies he's in. Um, my favorite character... He's my favorite, ca favorite character in Pieces, if anyone's seen that obscure one. Uh, he's just a really great actor. I love him. But um, I pretty much... Uh, I mean, they just bo both look like interesting films in the first place, but Christopher George is the reason I have this in the collection. Um, never seen these movies, never been in the collection before, so first time on Blu-ray because of Shout Factory. So, interested to check these ones out because I don't know anything about them. Not a thing. But, moving on to the next one, which is a pickup that I grabbed uh, very recently and what I wasn't expecting to grab when I went to the store. Um, but it was just looking at me and I just could not resist. It is a, it's a shitty movie, shitty video game adaption or adaptation. Um, but oh, this, this, this whole packaging and everything like that, I just, I had to jump on it and I actually enjoy the film. It's so bad. It's good kind of movie. I'm a fan of the video game, so why the hell not? Street Fighter. <laughs> uh, Mill Creek put this one out, uh, it, and it just looks... The whole the whole packaging is awesome, because you got this slip cover that comes off. Boom. Clear slip cover with some awesome artwork of all the different characters. You got Chung Lee, Guile. Right, Guile? It's been so, been so long. Bison. Let's see if I can get all these guys right. Cammy, I think? <laughs> um, Balrog, uh, shit, sumo fat guy, um, I don't remember his name, and then Ken and Ryu, I think I got them all, or I, maybe I got them wrong when I said some of the names, but, um, <laughs> really awesome artwork on the front, but check this out, boom, bison on a horse, looking like a badass, like a dictator, uh, just a really cool steel book, I mean, that's the reason I picked it up, because it was pretty pricey for Street Fighter. But, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, just a just cool little uh, stuff for fans of the movie. Got some screenshots in there of everyone. And then um, you, got the, you got little bison books. Oh, my God. I had no idea this was even in here when I first bought it. But then opened it up and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. It's something. But uh, Mill Creek put this one out and... Mill Creek is a studio that is just hit and miss when it comes to stuff, but it seems like their Blu-ray efforts have been a lot better than their DVD efforts in the past. So they really put a hell of a lot of work into this one. And it just looks looks as fun as the movie is crazy and over the top. And just a really, one of the most infamous kind of video game adaptations out there. Um, nothing like it. It's pretty much a Jean-Claude Van Damme film, but cartoon style. It's probably a good way to describe it that I'm thinking about it. But yep, just a really cool uh, steel book that I could not pass up. And I've actually never owned this one before on DVD. So first time in the collection, Street Fighter, if you can believe it. But um, yeah, let's keep moving on with a comedy, a romantic comedy. Um, I know last video, I think I had the... Um, was it? Yeah, Billy Madison, I believe, Adam Sandler's film. So I figured I would pick up Wedding Singer because it's another one of his movies that are actually good. Um, a lot of cool, I mean, it's just all 80s style, a lot of cool music, um, just funny scenes. He got a lot of cool cameos. 
and just a sweet little heartwarming story about a wedding singer looking for love. But um, cool, cool movie, fun stuff, when Adam Sandler was really good at the top of his game, I guess. But um, not, nothing really much to say about this. Uh, I, I, I mean, people know the movie. I think I've owned it before on DVD, so just upgrading it. And it is now in the collection in Blu-ray. So it's the totally awesome edition too. Ooh, shit. But um, let's keep moving on to a very obscure uh, double feature. Never seen these ones. I don't know. I did. I actually watched these ones. I've seen these ones. Uh, it is <laughs> Chinese Hercules. And what the hell is that one say? Bruce's Ninja Secret. I remember Bruce's Ninja Secret is really weird, a really crazy Bruce exploitation flick. Uh, it's pretty much just capitaling on the success of Bruce Lee, and I believe it's, they filmed it after his untimely death. And then Chinese Hercules, um, that one is actually really cool, but um, you, you think it's going to be about a Chinese Hercules, you know, this guy is going to follow him and his various exploits, uh, taking people on, but he's pretty much just a side character that shows up at the very end. Just some side muscle. Um, very odd to kind of make him seem like he's the headliner, but nope, nope. It's just a normal guy who's pretty good at martial arts, helps some people out, and um, yeah, has to fight that guy at the end. But it's a really fun film. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really cool martial arts flick. And uh, same with uh, the second one, the Bruce's Ninja Secret. Just a really cool, with Bruce Lay. Is that how you say it? Sorry, Bruce Lay. One of the um, many Bruce Bloitation kind of knockoff actors that tried to take his place but was never able to unseat him. But a uh, really cool double feature. Um, who put this one out? Dark Force. Dark Force put this one out. I own a bunch of these guys. Um, double feature kind of Blu-rays. And I have been satisfied with every single one. So definitely an awesome double feature martial arts extravaganza. Fun stuff. And great to have in the collection because I... I don't even know if those films are even available on any other format, so yippee! But let's move it on to a very fun 90s, I believe it's early 90s, um, dark comedy, I guess is what you would call this? Family comedy? I don't know. Um, it is The Addams Family, and grew up with this one as a kid and always enjoyed it. Like the second one as well, um, but... Just ran into this one at a used store somewhere and figured I'd pick it up because I've never owned this on DVD prior. So it's first time in the collection. And like I said in other videos, I've been trying to just kind of grab as much as I can throughout the years of movies I've enjoyed. Um, just nostalgic stuff. And Adam's Family is definitely one of them. And I just realized that... Um, what the heck is this guy's name? I always forget his name. Ra Raul Julia plays Gomez Adams. If I got that wrong, I'm sorry. I, I don't know my Adam's lore. But um, he uh, is also in Street Fighter as Bison. So I did not plan this, but um, there they are, side by side. But um, yep, fun movie if you haven't seen before. Just weird, dark comedy with a strange family that is strange. But yep, Adam's family in the collection. First time, first time, first time. And last but definitely not least is a collection, I believe it's three films, um, but I have no idea. I mean, I watched the trailer for it when Severn first released it, um, and I thought it was pretty interesting, but never really thought I would stumble across it at a decent price, and somebody was selling it somewhere, and I picked it up. But um, I don't know if it's like a Spanish, yeah, Spanish kind of like teen delinquent film. And this one's from the, like, 70s and 80s, I think. But it spans... No, it's all in the 80s. 1980, 1983, and 1984 from Spain. And I don't even know how to pronounce any of this stuff. But it is the Quin Quinqui Collection. Um, I probably butchered it. But, um, yeah, it's just, like, three films following these teens, getting into antics and drugs and sex and violence and all kinds of crazy stuff. It just looks like... A very interesting kind of series of films that I never even knew existed before Severin, like, put this one out. But uh, the separate films are Navajeros, El Pico, and El Pico 2. Probably butchered those as well, and I don't care. But um, 
just an interesting looking collection of films that I just never knew existed and interested to kind of check it out and see what it's all about. But um, yeah, don't know much else about it, but cool stuff. And I'm interested if anyone's seen these ones, let me know what you think of them because not a lot of people talk about them, but I have, I have heard good things through the grapevine, but um, yeah, Ugh. that is it. Let's get Street Fighter out there in front because it is so beautiful. Oh me, oh my. But there we have it. That is the collection video movie haul for today. A lot of interesting ones in there, but they're always interesting. I try to mix it up and just show a whole bunch of different genres and low budget, high budget, all kinds of budgets. But guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you leave a comment below, I would love it, and I would love to hear from you. But guys, that is it for me today. Uh, have a good one, stay out of trouble, and stay safe, and enjoy some movies. See you guys later.